Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am playing on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. What have you been building lately? So today, we've got a couple of odds and ends to take care of pretty early on. And before I promise too much for this video, I just want to kind of kind of wait and we'll see how the overall schedule plays out. But, uh, but yeah, so... Right here, we're up in the storage area, and you'll notice that I have not actually put a roof on, and we will chat about why that is in just a moment. But first things first, uh, I had a request out during the, what was it, the minecart elevator episode, so where we put, put that contraption in from the mining area all the way up to our former AFK platform. And I had a request about the very bottom level. It was kind of awkward. And Neelium Archa, a longtime viewer, had a suggestion that involved a slime block. And uh, if you know, I wonder where I'm going to get one of those. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think I should be fine. Let me just keep two, just for good measure, but we'll throw the rest up there. And that should be all that we need. And we are just going to drop on down here, go there, and then the long drop down to the top of the witch farm. Yeah, there we go. Everything's in order. Ground level, skeleton farm, and here we go. We are at the bottom levels. Make sure nothing is going to surprise us. Oh, we should be good. Okay, so I was noting that this thing looked just kind of odd just sticking out like that and can't really get rid of much else but I was wondering what to do with that thing and so what Neelium suggested was get rid of the water drop and so we'll do that and then right here right on that block we will put a slime block not that there we go and then what that means we can do is get rid of that block right there yeah, it slows down us walking a little bit. That you can see we kind of kind of stick to the ground. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But there we go. So let's head on up to our skeleton grinder. It's one too many. There we go, and get right here. Nope. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. So, there we go. Thank you, Neelium, for that suggestion. Suggestion, And guys, go check out Neelium's channel. He doesn't put out a lot of videos, but when he does, you will be blown away by the amount of progress and his attention to detail in his builds. And, uh, yeah, you should definitely check that out. But we are not going to be contented with just doing that. We're going to go upstairs and take a look at the hidey hole. And you might be surprised with how things look up there. All right, here we go. This is the hidey hole. I'm wondering what in the world. Yeah, I've gotten rid of most of the chests. I've just got a couple of chests here. And that's going to be a one-way portal eventually that goes or that is down there but uh, we're not gonna do that quite yet I'm just gonna head on up here that means that I have moved all of those items and all of chest city up here to our storage area and that took quite some time and we've got a lot of minecarts with chests hanging out in the infinite storage array up there which is kinda nice so uh, just over here, I've got I've got some sheep. I had to move them from the island over there, and I've still got my slime block or slime crank from Zaid. And then I've got this thing. It's it's a rudimentary furnace array, and it still has stuff in it because I've been cooking brick and brick. And I didn't think that was enough. You know, I've, I've set my prices at the commercial district to be clay balls, but I went out and did some collecting. 
Yep, there is a... Let's see, you go out that way. I don't know, like a hundred, 150 blocks or so, and then make a left and go that way. And there is another swamp. And I spent quite some time just getting all of that. So I think we're pretty good on the clay. And you can see kind of what I'm going for. I'm getting some measurements going here. You can see a column that I made right there and there. And we might be getting to that in this episode. But for now, I hear that we need to visit the commercial district. And that is because, reportedly, I am out of a particular supply. And that would be gunpowder. Yep. Uh, it's like... People are kind of kind of going crazy on the gunpowder. So what I've gone ahead and done is gotten the gunpowder there, and you notice that all of those clay blocks down downstairs. Um, I think I'm good on clay, so we're going to be switching up our prices to diorite and granite. So let's head on over to the commercial district, and I can kind of show you what's going on even in the Nether. So, uh, so yeah, let's let's head on here. Hopefully, the pigmen aren't angry. If they are, then this will be interesting. So far, so good. Hey, buddy. Okay. Um, right here is my Nether hub, kind of. That goes to the iron farm, and it's no longer in use. There's an auto. Auto shut or uh, spitter auto. What is it? Any items that come through there get shot into lava. So uh, there is no portal on the other side of that. It just happens to be there. That is to the Birch Island. Okay. And I haven't shown you that either. It's a future project idea that I have. And we'll see if we get to it. What I've done is I've gone ahead and connected up to the Nether Hub. And this, I'll just let you know, is. Um, I was kind of worried about it because we have been going through some things on the Too Crafty server. I'm trying to figure out our hosting. And we had a little bit of a little snafu with uh, between a couple of hosts. And in trying to get back to the original one, um, well, we got the overworld back up just fine. But the nether had gotten messed up and all of the nether was completely new. And we had lost all of this. So they managed to get that together. Kudos to Khan and Airy and Zaid for that. And uh, we should be fine from now on. But uh, but yeah, we've been looking around at some other possibilities. And just didn't work out. And uh, so we're back with Beast Node. You can take a look at the affiliate link below. They've been really good. Okay. Um, no issues with lag or anything like that. And uh, not... Not for me. I know Jay has had issues. But uh, come over here. Anything new at, in the commercial district? Um, nothing there. How about... Let's see, Zade Mart. You see it? There we go. Uh, ooh, purple. Nice. And how about in here? You know, I'm supposed to be restocking. Ooh, more efficiency for books, so I'll, I'll resist the temptation so that other people can partake of that. But let's come over here and see how things are going in my shop. Okay. Yep, sure enough, all of the gunpowder is gone. And how about the payment? Ooh, shiny. Ah, thank you, Zaid. Um, but uh, we're going to be switching up the prices, too. I do thank you for for that, especially those diamonds. I'm always up for some diamonds there. But we're going to restock here. Not that. Just affected by the diamonds there. Hmm. Okay, so put that me along for that. And we'll transfer all of this over to my ender chest and we're going to get rid of that and that and that and where did they all go 
It's still really strange. It boggles my mind. Um, so the needful items, we've got granite and diorite. And we don't need these. Um, and I don't have a piece of wood to put right there to replace that. But, um, but yeah, that's what we need right now is granite and diorite. So, fellow two craftians, if you've got spare granite and diorite, let me know. I would love to take it off your hands. Let's see down here if we've got anything. I love how the vine's just coming in. Man, that's, yeah, that's, that's a nice effect. Anybody else? Kondrick says I need to change up my, my grammar in here. Let's see. Figure out if this service will suit your needs. If it does. Yes. Okay. So the, I don't know, it's some agreement rules that I failed there. So uh, let's head on. No new customers thus far, but yeah. So we'll head back. So hopefully you enjoyed that caving with Kondrick. It was a lot of fun hanging out with him and doing that. And uh, that that opportunity. Oh, it's a wild ogre pants. Oh, sticky keys. Nope, don't want that. Um, he's in the Nether. That means that he's not having a problem at all with his uh, with his uh, Nether portals. He used to have a problem, but uh, but yeah, we'll head on back here. So I had originally planned for the storage system and the minecart elevator to go back to back and the storage system to come out on Boxing Day. And then the opportunity with Kondrick to go caving opened up and so I shifted around my schedule and so that is why it seemed kind of awkward me talking about Boxing Day when um, I didn't actually release it on Boxing Day. And uh, you got that last week and I'm currently recording this thing in it's at the end of 2014, um, and we are coming up on 2015 right quick. Come on, let's get through here. Maybe I need to make that a button. We're going to head down to ground level and get set up. But uh, yeah, I, um, I do reserve the right to shift around the schedule, so it's one of the reasons why I don't tend to talk about actual days that are going on because the schedule does shift and it's the one day I mentioned or the one time I recorded and mentioned a specific uh, specific holiday going on and it's the one that I shifted so I'm sorry if that confused you um, you know don't worry we're, we're gonna try and avoid that in the future but for now we have got this okay yeah we have a column of brick and that's what I've been storing the brick for is because we want well you might not want but I want brick as part of the base design okay so we've got um, well I've got this laid out here and if you take a look at what I've got cut out right here it's an octagonal shape so we've got an octagon going all the way around. It does butt into the side of this hill here. And I'm not going to dig that out. Instead, what we're going to do is get, get out some more brick. And I've got plenty over here. So we're going to fill up the inventory. And, well, I'm going to get working on this. In fact, do you hear any music?
ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? We are done with that phase of that project. There's my camera account over there. So let's just take a swim around and see what's going on here. Can you tell what it's going to be? Now I haven't told you what I am planning for this yet. So get ready for the grand project reveal. I have been fairly quiet thus far because I, you know, I, I want to make sure that I am a man of my word. And so when I say I'm going to do something that I actually make do on it. So what we are doing here is based on a, a building are actually a couple of buildings from where I live and if you have not been paying attention uh, thus far on the channel I live in North Carolina and North Carolina is known for having beaches okay and a few of these beaches are on rather dangerous shoals so where the sand moves in and out and North Carolina is known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. And so that's the Atlantic Ocean for those of you that aren't familiar with US geography. So it's known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. And one of the things that we we have is a lot of shipwrecks including um what's his name Blackbeard, Edward Teach. In fact, I have been to the town that his his ship was supposed to have grounded near. So, um, well, that's the sheep down there. So anyway, um, one of the things that has been done in North Carolina and around beaches around the world to warn ships away from the dangerous shoals is to put up lighthouses. That's right, a lighthouse. So right here we've got a lot of water and we've got islands here and there and kind of dangerous shoal areas, right? And rocky terrain. What better place or what better building to have right here than a lighthouse? Stretching. Yep. To build height. Oh, we're getting some tick lag there. So, um, so yeah, that's the plan. I am going to be building a lighthouse that stretches from sea floor, not sea floor, sea level to build height. And that is why I have been collecting the brick so that we can get the foundation. Now the foundation is based on Cape Hatteras. If you're familiar with North Carolina lighthouses, it's got an kind of an octagon shape. Now it does have some detailing on the edges that I have not repeated, mainly because it's very difficult to get that on an angle in Minecraft, but uh, who knows, maybe in the future I might try that. And then the top portion is going to be based on Cape Lookout, but uh, we're not going to do that today. Instead, I do believe that we are getting close to the end of this episode. Um, but uh, you, know that, you know what? I'm I'm going to call it that. So that's going to be it. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one, and uh, let me know what you think of this so far. And next time we'll see what we can do with all of this. I've got an idea. Let's head on upstairs just to give you a reminder of some of the stuff that I am looking at getting done. We're going to go to the project board and see what we've got. So I've still got this base design that I need to finish and that's a long-term project. So we'll just continue this um, you know, slowly but surely. I've got to finish the measurements for it. But here, take a look. Take a screenshot or pause the video or something and let me know what you think. Should we go for an adventure next? Should we do another project? You let me know. Now, if I happen to seem like I'm ignoring it, well, keep in mind that I record on a regular basis and sometimes I record way ahead of when the videos go out. So if it seems like 
I'm ignoring it. It's just because I have not actually seen your feedback yet because the video hasn't gone out by the time I'm recording. So let me know and there's going to be a little bit of lag time in between here. So what I'm doing is I'm holding off on stuff here um, and, uh, and working on other projects that I have in mind. But uh, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the design. Let me know what you think of what we should attempt soon. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.